So growing in containers is a great way to expand your growing space if you have adequate ground space or an alternative if you don't. We're using a burlap sack here, just an ordinary burlap sack we got from a local coffee roaster. You can call your local coffee roaster and some of them will give them to you for free. If some of them charge you for them, call around. You'll find ones that are willing to get rid of them. That's what we've been able to acquire over a number of different gardening projects. What we're gonna plant in this one is an experimental project with Jerusalem artichokes, or known as the sun show. Now these require full sun, 130 to 150 days. Well, we're not in full sun. We're on the backside of the shed here, on the backside of the garden, where it only gets about six hours of sun in early morning up to peak noonish. So we're gonna experiment. We're gonna see if planting Jerusalem artichokes in partial shade will at least give us some tubers as, uh, as they would in full sun. We know they're gonna give us a lot of tubers. We've experienced that a number of years in the large garden. So how we're gonna do this is we're just gonna take compost. We're gonna put a little base of compost in the bottom. Now what I've done with this burlap sack, you wanna to try to get one that's densely woven. So I've put about, uh, there's about four inches of soil there. Now with these artichokes, these are in a bucket that we had in the attic that we kept eating off of over the winter. And once the temperatures warmed up, they begin to grow in the bucket. So just like a potato, you don't want to snap this off because then the, this is the tuber is the energy for this green sprout. And once the roots start to develop, then the, 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 the tuber will dis, uh, disconnect itself and begin growing more tubers. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put it, uh, we're going to put two in here, which is a very, uh, uh, a lot, is a lot when it comes to Jerusalem artichokes. And the, we're gonna plant or cover them up with soil up to the point where the uh, sprouts are just above the soil line. Well, be careful. Right. I'm gonna add some more here. And you can also cover these sprouts and they will emerge when they uh, feel the right time is. I'm gonna keep back filling here, settling it, compressing it down a little bit. All right. There's one sprout there we're gonna leave alone. I'm gonna gently, there we go. Move the soil around, try to get this more balanced. All right. Now we're gonna water this in. And in order to hold some of the moisture, you can use straw, grass clipping, dry grass clippings, shredded leaves. Uh, we've got some shredded leaves here. Straw, we're just gonna take some shredded leaves and some garden debris off our compost pile. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And all that's going to do is greatly reduce the amount of water that's going to evaporate out of this container. True enough, this is more air because it's a woven material than a traditional pot. But nevertheless, we'll be able to water this and see what kind of results we get with partial shade sun chokes in a burlap sack container. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.